This video is sponsored by LG. Make sure to check out their latest 16-inch OLED LG Grand Pro. Here's my ideal sense. These two have been my best friends for a while now. I've been trying to go minimal and so I've been trying to find some proper bags in order to do so. So I think these might be it. Um, I'm not quite sure yet, but uh, it looks promising. So here's the deal, right? Um, I'm leaving to Manchester in about like five days and um, I sort of need something minimal because uh, I'm not quite sure what my situation is going to be for the next five days. Uh, let me show you guys. Ta-da! I can, I can sort of like walk and stuff. I can put weight. Officially tomorrow I can put weight. But you know, I, I like to cheat a bit. Um, so yeah, I need something minimal. I want minimal things with me. Not too much, not too bulky. Something to get me around, have all the tech I need um, to film that Manchester video because it's going to be a banger. S24 Ultra Day in the Life coming, baby. Yeah. Got this. Fuck, I'm a bit scared, but yeah. <laughs> That was the most absurd experience I've ever had. Like, honestly, from the heart, it meant a lot to me. And I'm honestly very happy I brought this with me. Super minimal, super great everyday carry to carry around because of my situation. I kind of abused my ankle, so uh, I'm a bit back on crutches just to ease the pain down a bit. But uh, let's get into the everyday carry. Yep, um, I had the time of my life. Look, I won't spoil it. That day in the life is coming out next week. What I will spoil though is how good my setup was for that trip and for the next couple of months to come until I'm fully healed, of course. Anyways, look, I'm going to share with you some of the best everyday carry items you can get. You can literally get 90% of these items of Amazon except for the bag. This here is among one of my favorite bags to carry around, coming from the McKinnon Sling 8 liter bag in the crossbody backpack from ULX. This here is quite different, different in a good way. Um, this is like perfectly minimal, and I say perfect because damn, was I able to fit a lot of stuff here through all my days. I think for a small company, they sure do know how to make these bags feel like high-end items. I mean, they're metal buckles. For me, those are one of the nicest touch you can add to a bag. This here being the 157 Essential Sling, it's allowed for me to travel with ease and travel minimal. It's a bag that although it's small, it has plenty of room to carry necessities. It's got some very nice YKK zippers with a leather strap around it. YKK zippers in the interior pocket as well. I like to use this pocket for my Moth wallet when I wasn't using it, but for quick access, I like using the front pocket a lot more and pair that with my receipts as well. For myself, this was the perfect bag, but if you like something bigger to fit a lot more things, they also have something like their 172 camera sling, which Jan has been using. It's just as nice, honestly, the attention to detail with these bags is what made me want to try them. I don't feel like spending thousands of dollars on a, I don't know, like a Gucci bag or a Prada bag to have very similar quality, so instead I'd rather rock brands like these. More affordable, at a better price point, and I get to support small brands that deserve some recognition with their bags. Honestly, very happy with the leather. It was able to take quite some beatings during my trip, especially while going through security at airports. I'll say the same thing about my laptop, although I do wish I had a cleaner way to fit a laptop within my everyday carry. You see, with my injury, I've been wanting to make it easy for me to bring the best minimal items that can fulfill my needs, which is why I made the LG Grand Pro part of my everyday carry. And it's not only just because it's an incredibly thin laptop at 12.4 millimeters, but it's because this has a dedicated RTX graphics GPU within. 
Look, this is the laptop I'm currently rocking and the laptop I brought with me to Manchester to help me edit and help me with some admin work. This weighs just about 2.82 pounds, which is very light for a 16 inch laptop. So it was so easy for me to carry around. Being a laptop this thin, and light with a GPU that delivers 4 gigabytes of VRAM, an Intel Core Ultra 7 processor featuring a dedicated AI NPU and optimized for AI work, paired with 32 gigabytes of DDR5X RAM and a couple of 1TB Gen 4 NVMe SSDs, it made this ultra slim lightweight chassis a solution for what I need my laptops for. I set this up practically to like fulfill my programming needs, my admin system workflow, and of course my photo and video editing workflow. And let me tell you something, because this is a 120Hz OLED panel with a 16x10 aspect ratio and incredible colors with DCI-P3 at 100%. It was such a no-brainer for me when it came to working on photos and videos. You guys know, I mean, OLED panels deliver the best contrast ratios and I love LG's OLED technology. I was also told this delivers 400 nits of brightness, but it feels a lot more bright than that. The thermals are also well engineered within this MIL STD810H military grade compliant chassis, where I can actually sometimes hear its dual fan cooling system kick in through the chassis. I actually felt it quite a lot in the plane when I was doing some heavy duty stuff but it never burnt my lap in any occasion nor my fingers while typing on this full keyboard layout. As a whole I've been mainly rocking this with my earbuds but this does have two 3 watt speakers, they sound nice and do the job. But look, for me honestly, the greatest thing about this laptop was the ability for LG to pack up so much power in such a slim chassis like this one and being able to deliver all that with proper battery life. That battery charges through a Thunderbolt 4 port with this brick setup and so it's got ports that have been useful for me including an HDMI port sitting next to these Thunderbolt 4 ports and a couple of USB 8 3.2 Gen 1 ports with an audio jack next to them. In short, I think this new generation of Meteor Lake that I've already tried on multiple laptops this year has so much to offer, especially when it comes to power efficiency. Paired with all that, LG decided to also sprinkle their own system platform with LG Gram Link. More than anything, LG Gram Link facilitates connectivity across various OS including iOS and Android without any restrictions. Like I paired this with my S24 Ultra in order to either do some file and photo sharing, which makes file transfer between the S24 Ultra and also between iOS devices extremely quickly to do. I use it as a display extension, universal control and take advantage of its AI powered gallery. So yeah, my LG Grand Pro goes pretty much hand in hand with my S24 Ultra. And yup, this here is my daily phone now. Truly, the only thing I miss from iPhone is being able to shoot log no matter where I am. Other than that, I'm way more than happy with what this phone has to offer. Like for 90% of people, I think it's a phone capable of delivering so much to your everyday life. It's aesthetically pleasing, the cameras are great, and for me, the user experience has been elegant. I do personally don't carry my phones without cases, mainly because I feel like they are so fragile once you drop them, which is why I've ended up adding a screen protector to this Corning Gorilla Armor Glass. It doesn't change my experience or the quality of the screens one bit. Like for example, when consuming movies or just using the phone for any daily tasks, I've always found the colors to be the same and the reflection as well. Now besides all that, I think the only design thing I miss about the S23 Ultra was the curved bezels. I don't know, I just always found that it made the experience a lot more immersive. I do love that they did change one of the native camera's focal length to be at 5x and not 10x. For me, having that natively at 5x makes so much more sense than 10x. And believe it or not, I no longer miss iMessage. WhatsApp for me has been more than great. There's just so much to talk about when it comes to its daily usability. But you know what? I'll leave all that for next week within our day in the life. Aside from that, for the most part, I honestly can't live without a MagSafe case. Reason why is because of my Moth wallet and my Anchor battery pack. 
A couple of weeks ago, I actually talked about my S24 Ultra setup and I showed you guys this Ultra Hybrid Max Safe case from Spigen. For the time I've had it, it's done so good. I mean, it hasn't yellowed one bit. I dropped my phone on a few occasions during the trip and it didn't damage it. It is very slim and minimal, so do careful with your clumsiness. And don't expect the magnet to be as strong as a complete Max Safe setup on the iPhone. Like, yes, my Moth wallet holds well, whether I have in my pocket, I use it to store a card or I use it to consume content in portrait mode, landscape mode or in floating mode. Yes, the magnet on the case can support something like this. Uh, by the way, this is my alternative to a very minimal wallet. A few things you can fit here are um, a couple of cards, driver's license, credit card and also some cash. These do age quite well, my Anke Orange Moth wallet is almost like 2 years old and it's still doing fine. The material on these is vegan leather and at 0.2 inches it barely adds to the bulkiness of your device. What ends up adding to the thickness of the S24 Ultra is the latest Anchor battery. This here is the Anchor Maggo Power Bank QI2 certified 15 watt ultra fast MagSafe compatible portable charger. I had to order this from Amazon US because as we speak it's not currently sold in Canada but holy am I glad I brought this with me. Mainly because I absolutely suck at charging phones. I fall asleep on my phone at night and then I wake up to it like at 20%. So having something like this when I was in Manchester was absolutely great. Except for the day we filmed the day in the life I actually charged my phone in order to do a proper battery test battery is at a hundred percent i'm gonna give you guys a real battery life test today we're gonna we're gonna really see how long this phone's gonna last today but look this here is a 10,000 milliamp hour battery pack with a smart display a kickstand that replaces my moth wallet when charging and it barely gets hot you see why i need the max safe case without it i wouldn't be able to do any of this honestly i already gave my feedback to anchor a while ago by telling them to put the usb-c connector on the side as well as the power button they did that with this so to me this is the perfect battery pack you can get at the moment the same thing goes for my Bose Ultra Quiet Comfort. If you like A and C, of course. I call these my baby blockers. No, but in all seriousness, though, uh, these have the best A and C I've ever tried on an earbud. I think for something like when you're traveling in a plane, for example, having proper earbuds that can deliver a great noise cancellation feature amazing sound and proper battery life is so important just to give you a quick example on battery life coming home these were at a i don't know 10 percent at some point at around 540 i believe at around 632 the earbuds had finally died it took a little over 45 minutes to charge the case and get the buds to around 70 percent honestly unbeatable earbuds for me now i do come from the quiet comforts too i love those things they are so good but sometimes they like to act up so i wanted to see if the new ultra quiet comforts practically took care of those small issues connectivity has been great it's never dropped on me not even once it easily connects to all devices like jan's macbook pro my lg laptop my phone i think the only true difference between these earbuds and my old one is the new immersive mode immersive mode does sound absolutely amazing i will give it that but in terms of audio quality it's practically the same thing i would save the money and get the quiet comfort too although i do find connectivity to be way better as for the app it's the same thing it bugs sometimes but when it works it delivers the same awesome features like the ability to change modes adjust your eq levels of course with these you have the immersive audio check out your different types of audio sources and even control your touch shortcuts beyond that you've got one tap for play two taps for next track three taps for previous track and slide up and down for volume control it works well, the surface registers the taps very well, sometimes too well when trying to readjust your earbuds, which is annoying when you are at the gym. What I also find annoying is carrying my massive water bottle. Ever since I broke my ankle, I've been carrying this up and down with me to make sure I get a good amount of fluids in my body, which is fine, but sometimes it really isn't the most ideal thing to carry around. So I bought this silicone sleeve memo bottle A7. 
it legit fits in my gram's 28 bag which is absolutely clutch there were so many times that this came in handy while i was traveling it looks like a flask bottle to be honest so it fills up very quick when you pour water but again such a handy little bottle to have in your minimal everyday carry bag i recommend bringing something like this with you places unlike my leatherman knife so of course i didn't bring this with me to manchester mainly because well it has a full blade within which you can't just carry with you on a plane i think this is the most versatile small personal tool anyone can carry it's mainly the reason as to why i replaced my leatherman rebar with this the rebar because of its weight and size sits at the studio most often but the t4 because of how small it is can be brought with me at all times first of all this is an incredibly well-made tool the design, the finish, the metal, it makes it feel very premium. It's got tools like a knife with a locking mechanism. You just gotta press this little button on the side to bring it back in. It also has a large screwdriver that can act as a box opener or a pry tool. It's got a wood and a metal file within its medium screwdriver. It's got a pair of tweezers, believe it or not. Scissors, thank god this has scissors. I would have loved to have this with me when I first bought my Manchester United shirt in Manchester because ripping those tags off is impossible. The last two tools it has is a, a small screwdriver with an awl and a Phillips screwdriver with a bottle opener. I mean, you can only imagine how useful this little T4 tool comes in within your everyday life. The last update for me has been my keys. This is literally as minimal as it can get for me. I've got my car keys, my orbit key, magnetic carbiner, my pass for the condo, and my smart tag 2 with all the keys I need. This to me is a proper minimal key setup. All my keys stored within my orbit key organizer. I bought this not long ago through Amazon. It's made out of uh, cognac tan leather. For me, it's able to fit four keys and their multi-tool V2. I use this whenever I can't simply either open a bottle, scratch something quickly, or screw camera gear. It has nine tools in one, so it really comes in handy for something that you can whip out this quickly. As for the rest, I mean, I love this quick release on the carabiner. It's very much a magnetic base. I also enjoy the SmartTag too. I mean, it kind of works very similarly to the AirTags, especially when it comes to searching your items nearby within the app you can also do all sorts of things and it's very well designed i think it's completely replaced my need for having air tags with my samsung device but i've heard that these don't last as long and they are also chunkier i think the final item for my everyday carry to be complete is like a samsung ring i'm very much waiting for that i honestly cannot wait i stopped wearing the apple watch because i like wearing mechanical watches and because i suck at charging things my apple watch was often dead hopefully this gives you guys an idea of how useful this everyday carry setup can be more specifically for someone that needs to be minimal within their everyday lives i absolutely love the lg gram by the way i truly think this can be a true macbook air replacement for those who enjoy windows minus the crazy battery life of course for me though it is so good i will leave you guys with this all items in the description if interested don't forget to stay tuned for next week's video because we got that day in the life coming with the s24 ultra it's a banger can't wait to show it to you guys anyways talk soon take care enjoy your sunday